The world is fighting with an enemy that we can't even see. How can such a small and microscopic germ cause a pandemic and infect such a complex organism like the human body? To cause a pandemic, this virus needs to spread at a fast rate. So what is the science behind how this virus attacks your body and how your body reacts to it? SARS-CoV-2 is the name of the virus that spreads the disease COVID-19. The four main ways this virus spreads is through sneezing, coughing, physical contact, and the contact of infected surfaces. Here we have a single virus particle. If we open this up, we can see that it contains RNA. Over the RNA is the capsid and on top of the capsid are the spike proteins. This virus has proteins on the outside of the capsid which are very specific to the cell receptor they attach to, just like how a key is particular to which lock it opens. The coronavirus has a capsid that is covered with S proteins which attach to ACE2 receptors. These ACE2 receptors are mainly located in the lungs and the gastrointestinal tract. This explains why people with COVID-19 suffer with respiratory problems, fevers, and even pneumonia. Once this virus enters the cell, it injects its RNA and hijacks the cell's machinery, then uses the ribosomes to create new virus particles. Parts of the virus's RNA also code for proteins that stay in the host cell. They prevent the host cell from sending out signals to the immune system that it's under attack. All these parts soon combine to become new viruses inside the cell. They then burst out the host cell killing it. These newborn viruses go on attacking new cells, and the cycle of making virus particles multiplies each time a host cell dies. Though this virus is dangerous, once our immune system detects the antigens that are present on the surface of these viruses, it starts producing antibodies which send out signals to certain chemicals known as chemokines and cytokines. These chemicals then alert the immune system to send different kinds of cells that are specialized in attacking these virus particles. However, Chemokines and cytokines can also cause inflammation in cells. The inflammation then builds up the fluid in the lungs, and as the fluid fills up the lungs, there are fewer air sacs to take in oxygen, which can cause breathlessness and dry cough. In addition, extra mucus is also produced. Men are twice as likely to suffer from COVID-19 because they have way more ACE2 receptors than what women do. And also because of the extra X chromosome that women have, it sets them an advantage to have a better immune system than men. So, be careful guys. Although it will take a long time to create a vaccine for this virus, we can still do our part and protect the people that are more vulnerable by practicing social distancing and hygienic acts such as washing your hands and keeping your surroundings clean. Drinking anti-inflammatory drinks such as lemon water, turmeric water, and etc. can help with lowering the buildup of fluid in the lungs and also improve the immune system. Thanks for watching.